What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. We are filming once again on a Sunday and it is a beautiful day out here in San Diego, California. Currently, I am having some issues right now with my app. So I'll tell you guys what happened. Pretty much, I ran a batch this morning at Ralph's. I did like a 42 at 7.45 or something like that. After I finished the Ralph's batch, I went to Costco for the Costco drop. I ended up picking up this 48, which I'll show you guys on the screen. I didn't get a drop or a list or anything. It took about 12 or 15 minutes before I actually picked this 48 up. After completing this batch, which is currently what I'm dealing with right now. So I haven't talked to support yet, but I'm going to right after this clip. I dropped off A and then I dropped off B, no issue issues, no problems with anything. As soon as I dropped off customer B, I'll show you the screenshot right here. My app had basically taken me offline and I was like, oh, maybe it's my service. Maybe, you know, something weird is happening. Totally refreshed my app. I, you know, killed the app and then I brought it back. So nothing changed. And this is really confusing. This has never happened to me in my entire life. After a few minutes, I thought the batch would eventually appear in my earnings section, but there is no sign of this batch. So I have no idea what's going on. I have photos of deliveries. I have the screen shot and a screen recording of the batch that I took. So I'm about to hop on with support and get my money because right now I'm $48 short. I'm also not seeing any batches. So I'm not sure if they're messing with the app. It's It's been a weird week. Once again, a lot of my buddies are not seeing, you know, orders, they're not seeing runnable batches today. And since I delivered that batch, probably 15, 20 minutes ago, I haven't seen even one batch, which on a Sunday, it's extremely rare to not have at least one or two batches on your screen at all time, even if they're they're not good batches. So I'm going to try to handle this right now. I'm hoping today is going to not have any issues. Hopefully this is the only speed bump that we hit today and hopefully they can get it resolved quickly and also start showing me some batches soon. So I'm going to jump on with support and I'll let you guys know what the outcome is. Okay, so we have an update and I am not the only person that this has happened to. I have a couple people. I texted a couple people in my group, different groups, different people. A lot of people are saying the Instacart's down and a lot of people are having the same situation where they delivered a batch and it's not even showing up in their earnings. So I'm not the only one that's going through this. So I'm coming in to use the restroom at Ralph's and I'm not sure where I'll go. Hopefully they fix this soon, but at least we have an update and I'm, I couldn't even get a chat rep. I was trying to get a chat rep, didn't even let me get there. So I'm assuming the app is just down and hopefully they fix this soon. All right, so it's 1.15. We finally picked up a batch. There was about an hour period of not seeing anything. I knew the app was still down and I was communicating with everybody else, asking if they were seeing anything. Nobody was really seeing anything at all. So I went, I charged my car in Carlsbad, and then I want to say around 12... Five, I started seeing some orders, but they were really far away. So hopefully for the rest of the day, the app is gonna act normal. I'm going to Seaside Market to run through these 18 items. This will put me over $130 on the day, and we should have it done right around 2 p.m. So we're about five minutes from the store, and then we're gonna get this batch going. So we got that last one done pretty quickly. The drive was a little bit of a trek, but you know, it's not that bad. It's all back roads and usually they're pretty empty. So it was pretty easy to get there. As soon as I walked out of the store, it was absolutely raining, like really hard. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't even bring my jacket in. I did, however, bring a jacket with me today, but I haven't had to break it out more than once. So I'm not sure what that batch ended up being because it still says pending pay. There's clearly issues with the app still. I'm still getting text messages from people saying they're not seeing things or they're seeing stuff that's really far away so clearly the app is not back to normal yet which is really unfortunate i just got back to the coast i'm posted up outside of delmar gelson's so hopefully something comes in i've got a vons sprouts bevmo and i've got a few other stores around me so hopefully something gets tossed my way quickly really don't want to have any more long wait periods today because the app definitely shut us down for a little while so we're going to do our best to avoid those long gaps but i can't force batches on my screen so i'm not going to be too picky. I'm going to look for something decent to take. It is Sunday. There should still be good orders coming out, even though the app is kind of messed up right now. And hopefully we get another one pretty soon. All right. We picked up a 36 single at Lazy Acres. We're almost to the store right now. Today is a super weird day. It's weird weather. The app is acting weird. Certain people aren't seeing anything. Some people are seeing great orders. I have yet to see a banger today, but even if we don't see a banger today, it'll be totally fine as long as I can stay on the clock, keep moving and getting orders like this, which I'm about to start. Ah. <sighs> 
One thing I really try to focus on is the term control the controllables because especially with this app, there's nothing really in our control besides how quickly, efficiently we can do a batch, how safe we can drive to the customer, and what orders we pass and take when they hit our screen. You can't force a banger on your screen. You can't force checkout lines to go faster. There's a lot of things out of our control, but if you're able to focus on controlling the things that are in your control, then you're gonna be just fine. And at the end of the day, you'll know that you gave it your best shot. So we're about to get parked, head in and run through this. Very nice thing about this order is that it's only like a mile and a half to her pad. So let's head in and get this knocked out. I just lost the easiest 44 Lazy Acre single 18 items. I was almost off the freeway. It popped up, didn't even have a chance. Then it re-popped up and I missed it again. So just gotta focus on the next one like we talked about controlling the controllables. So hopefully we get a better one soon. All right, no more crying. We picked up this beautiful 56. Debbie is one of our favorite repeats up here in Carlsbad. So we're gonna run through this real quick. She always orders the same stuff. I already know where everything should be. Should be a super easy shop. Get this dropped off here at 235-ish by like five o'clock. Seaside calls us back here for a little 56. Back to back repeats for sure. I have had her before. This will put us real close to 300. We just dropped that one off. That put us at 297 on the day and it is 630, so we still have some day left. Plenty of day to get at least 400, which would be nice. It's starting to rain again, clearly, as you guys can see. So hopefully it blows over pretty soon. We're gonna drive back towards Lazy Acres because we're up at... Let's go, baby! Mid clip, you guys literally just saw me move my, like, I, I was like, so I have my phone here set up on the thing. An 89 notification at Ralph's in Del Mar just popped up, and I got it, you guys. Wow, this is the best batch I've had in probably two weeks. This is crazy. And it came from a notification, and I'm up in Encinitas. It looks like a repeat customer. Wow, heart is pounding right now, you guys. This, whoo, wow. This is gonna get us close to 400, which means now we have a possibility to get to five. So, wow, this is crazy crazy you guys I was getting notifications I was actually nervous to film because I thought I might miss something but wow that was there we didn't miss it we're gonna head to Ralph's hopefully the rain doesn't affect the drive there you guys we are pumped up this is a game changer hardly any waiting after dropping off that last order this psychs me up so we're gonna hit the road get to Ralph's and run through this order Okay, we got all the small items done. We're jumping out to grab another cart because I need to get all the bulk stuff. Got a bunch of soda, water, and paper towels and toilet paper.
All right, shout out to the headlights from the person parked in front of me. We are now at 389, you guys. We got into a nice little groove. It is, however, 738 right now, so time is gonna slip away if something doesn't come in soon. I won't be that picky. I will for sure take something that is, you know, quality to get me over 400, but there is a chance for five, so I'm gonna keep that in the back of my head. I have gotten some great batches at eight o'clock, at 8.30, and even at nine o'clock, so we're just gonna see what we can do. Hopefully, volume doesn't die out on us but yeah i'll let you guys know as soon as we get our next batch all right we just picked up 37 for 50 items we're gonna shop it here ralph's del mar it's not a great order but i can run through this real quick and this puts me over 420 something You guys you're not gonna believe what happened so you know that last order that i took that i said wasn't a good order it was a 37 for like 50 something items all i did was communicate with her let her know what was available what wasn't available she doubled my tip you guys that 37 turned into a 64 unbelievable that put me over 450 and i grabbed this 38 without even knowing she increased the tip so this batch right here is going to put me over 490 dollars anything is possible this is crazy i did not expect the day to finish like this I'm gonna run one more after this to get over 500. Super grateful, super happy, feeling super blessed. I'm gonna run through this batch. It's about 9.30 right now, and we're gonna see if we can get another one right after. So we just got to a supercharger in Carlsbad because I was on very low miles. It is 10.15 right now. We are sitting on $492 for the day. Had some amazing clutch orders come in late in the day, which I'm super grateful for. Since I dropped off, I haven't seen a single batch yet, so hopefully it comes in soon since it is going to be approaching 10.30 soon. In the meantime, I'm going to sit here and charge in Carlsbad and then make my way probably to a Ralph's because right now the only grocery stores open are Ralph's and a couple other other ones scattered but most of them close at like 11 or 12 so time is ticking we really want to get one more soon and hopefully it comes in i'll let you guys know as soon as it does this has been a crazy day guys look at these cute little things <laughs> anyway so yeah the ducks mean we're back at ralph's in carlsbad we picked up this crazy order we're gonna run it and probably get it done by like i want to say like 45 minutes from now store should be empty should be easy and this will put us over five so insane day gonna have to charge again after we drop this off at least it's a house at least it's only a mile and a half so i'm not gonna complain for 10 30 at night so we're gonna head in grab a cart and get this done So we made it back home finally after a little charge up in Solana Beach and a quick pit stop to grab dinner burrito. Today was an absolutely insane day. Super weird start, but an absolutely amazing finish. I just want to say I'm super grateful for each and every order I was able to do today. I wasn't that picky. I don't really regret passing on anything. And I'm happy with the outcome of the day. So I'm going to rest up. Tomorrow's Monday. Got to get after it again. I'm going to try to get out, at least get to Costco by 10. I also want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video, supporting my content, and continuing to give me motivation to continue to make the content. So I'm gonna head in, relax, have my dinner, and get ready for another day tomorrow. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.